I have an armor class of 62. Okay, so I'm having fun with this build. This is a Druid Monk Duelist. He shapeshifts and has a lot of armor. He can cast spells too. If you guys like these builds, be sure to like the video uh, and subscribe. Also write in the comments below what kind of build you guys would like me to tackle next. All right, so this is gonna be a fun build for you guys if you're looking for something that's powerful from the beginning towards the end, uh, has a lot of utility and things to do, and is kind of hilarious to see in action. This is my Druid Monk Duelist. I used to do something like this back in Neverwinter Nights 1 and Neverwinter Nights 2. It's pretty fun. So we're going to go with ASMR because we need uh, some good stuff going on here. We're going to go with Druid Blight Druid because there's not much difference between Druid and Blight Druid. Uh, the cool thing about the Blight Druid is that I get this awesome Miasma thing, which does a kind of an AoE sickening uh, with my uh, Wisdom modifier uh, at you know 13th level and at 5th level. It's pretty awesome. Changing my colors here real quick. I like this look already. We're going to start off with Druid level 1. We're going to go with Blight Druid. Uh, we're going to grab the Plume Kith Garuda Blooded. And the reason befo because of that is, if you guys feel squishy, it's got invisibility, but it's going to let us work on our wisdom and our dexterity at the beginning. And I'm going to go for Destruction Domain, simply because we get Destructive Smite. And I can use it, I think, 7 times a day, or for 7 attacks a day. That's the cool thing. Even if you miss, it uses up one of those attacks. And the Destructive Aura, being able to make all of my um, hits... Uh, critically confirm right there. That's pretty cool. So we're going to use Destruction Domain for our Blight Druid. The points are cool. I had made it to where my points are going to be 13, 15. Yes, here I start min-maxing some stuff, and there's some reason behind doing this min-maxing. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of shape-shifting, so Constitution and Charisma aren't really important to me uh, for this build. So uh, I did go with like an Intelligence of 18, uh, and I noticed you guys have been asking me about some things. Uh, here I did notice that I could take a point away from intelligence and add it to dexterity um, and also add it to strength, giving me some more attack damage, a little bit more armor from the beginning, making the build much easier for you guys to survive on. So instead of having 12 armor class at the beginning, we're going to have that thir uh, 16 uh, dexterity giving us a total of 13 AC bear, you know? Uh, so we're going to put points in mobility because we're going to need that for duelist later on. We're also putting points in mobility because of defensive fighting. Uh, we're going to put points in trickery because I like doing sneaky stuff. Perception and persuasion. We can put a point and use magic. Now you can see we're, we're negative here. Uh, we can grab some charisma items later on, but charisma is not necessary to this build. We won't be doing a lot of face kind of stuff going on here. Our first feat that we're going to grab is Dodge. Uh, it's plus one to armor class at the beginning. And for this build, it's definitely necessary for later on. You can either put Dodge here or you can grab Weapon Finesse here, uh, giving you for your first couple levels a better chance to hit with a small size weapon. So it's up to you if you want to grab a plus one to armor class from the beginning of Dodge or a chance to actually use um, plus one to hit with a light weapon. So it's uh, you want to get you want to be able to hit more. It doesn't really matter, guys. So I'm going to use weapon finesse because I'll get a light weapon uh, at the beginning, right? But an important thing is that you have to be lawful neutral because neutral is druid and lawful is for the monk. If you are not lawful, you won't be able to get this monk uh, level at level five. So looking at our build, we're going to do our first four levels as this fancy, fancy blight druid here. Uh, just putting as whatever points we can into Perception, Persuasion, and every other level we get to put a point into Use Magic Device for later on maybe using some kind of wizard item uh, per chance. Uh, level 3, we're going to grab this Blight Druid again, just chugging through. And at this level, again, you can use either Dodge or Weapon Finesse, whichever one you didn't choose. Um, so I did Weapon Finesse from level 1, and we're going to do Dodge at level 3, getting that plus 1 armor class against melee attacks. Level 4 starts becoming fun. We're going to grab um, this point in Druid again. And here, you have the option of getting your intellect really, really rolling here. We don't really need this for a long time, but we are going to put a point in Wisdom because the reason is, is later on we're going to be getting some armor class from a Wisdom, but it also allows us to cast um, some extra spells at earlier levels. Also at level 4, we're going to grab Wild Shape Wolf. So one time a day for 6 hours, we could turn into a wolf. At level 5, we're grabbing our first level of Monk. You can go for uh, Don't Do um, Sensei. Um, don't do Scaled Fist. Sensei does not give you 
Um, Fury, Flurry of Blows. I learned that. Um, so we're going to do either Monk or Traditional Monk. Just because you guys always ask me to do different stuff, I'm going to do Traditional Monk. I don't really know the difference between these guys other than making you do key power stuff and all that stuff. But we're not going to get any of that. We're just taking one point here. And at level 5 is this first level of Monk. We're going to grab Natural Spell. Uh, and we're also going to grab... Natural Spell is going to let us cast spells inside of any kind of wild shape we have. And we're going to grab Crane Style, which is going to make our attack penalty for fighting de defensively actually go down some. We're going to be doing a lot of defensive fighting because it adds to our AC. Level 6, we start going back into our 5th level of Druid. We get a lot of spells here. We also get Miasma. And again, that was that thing that makes them take some sickened stuff um, whenever they're close to you. That's pretty awesome. Level 7, we're going to grab our 6th level of Druid. And at level 7, I have us down for Crane Wing. Again, it's going to make us um, get a plus 4 armor class against melee attacks while fighting defensively with at least one hand free. And all of our hands will always be free. We also get some more wild shapes up in here. Um, small Elemental, Leopard. At uh, the 8th level, we're going to take our 7th level of Druid. We're going to put that point into Wisdom again. This is going to add to our armor class for being a monk. It's also going to give us more spells per day as a druid. We get a lot more spells right here, as you guys can see. It just starts having more fun with us. At ninth level, we're taking our 8th level of druid. And the ninth level spell you guys are going to be taking here is actually Combat Mobility because it's required for Duelist. Tenth level, we're taking our ninth level of monk. Or sorry, druid. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm going to mess that part up. At ninth level Druid, we also get uh, some immunity to diseases, natural and supernatural, um, and we're also immune to effects that would make me sickened or nauseated. Eleventh level, we're taking our tenth level of Druid. We'll actually only be taking 14 levels of Druid, and usually I try to max out my spellcaster classes quite a bit, but I'm not doing that this time. And at eleventh level, we can actually grab Crane Repost, which again makes us take down less attack penalties uh, for fighting defensively. It just starts adding, making fighting defensively awesome. We get some more wild shapes here. We get Shambling Mound, Smilodon, and Large Elemental, and uh, so we get a lot of air, fire, and water. Earth, fire, wind. What? Go Planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Captain Planet! 12th level, we're grabbing our 11th level of Druid, and this is the fun part. We get to start putting points into Intelligence and getting things picked back up for Use Magic Device. We get a lot of spells right here. As you guys can see, those guys are awesome. At 13th level, we're taking our 12th level of Druid. And at 13th level, I have us written down, because we are ASMR, holler at your boy, we're taking Wings. Plus 3 uh, armor class against melee attacks, and immunity to ground-based effects, such as difficult terrain. So whenever it's raining outside, I think that this makes us not have to worry about that. At 14th level, we're taking our 13th level of Druid. We get Plague Bearer. Anytime somebody attacks me in melee with a touch attack, unarmed strike, or a natural weapon, I can uh, give them a poison, a nauseated thing like a bubonic plague, like the Contagion spell. And then at our 15th level, we're taking our final level of Druid. That'll be the 14th level of Druid. And at level 15 here, you can take um, Combat Expertise. Uh, you take a negative one penalty on attack rolls, but you add to your armor class. And as your base attack bonus goes up, you get extra armor class. Um, and yeah, it's just, just you, we're, we're armor classing it up, guys. Level 15 is combat expertise. At level 16, we take our first level of duelist. Um, and I'll show you guys real quick. Um, so my armor class says 17 because I'm wielding. Let's take this off. Right now my armor class says 17. I'm wielding uh, nothing. But if I got my armor on here, if I take it off, it actually goes up. My AC actually went up because of my um, wisdom from being a traditional monk. Check that out right there. So having this armor on, I actually have more AC whenever I'm naked. So here, though, we are taking our first level of Duelist, which will start adding our intelligence bonus as well to our armor class. Duelist also is a uh, high base attack bonus class, so it's going to make it easier for us to attack people. Putting a point into intelligence. We get Candy Defense here, which adds one point of intelligence to my armor class when I'm wearing light or no armor and not using a shield. Um, I get this, but I'm not going to wear any armor whatsoever because I'm a monk. So I was at 19 armor, but now I'm up to 20 armor class because of that. We also get precise strike whenever I'm uh, wielding a one-handed light or piercing weapon. I add my duelist level to my damage roll, and I believe, believe that that goes for my unhanded, those are light, one-handed attacks. Adds it to my damage. Uh, 17th level, we're taking duelist again, and this is going to give us some more points in these little fancy skills. And at 17th level, I like to take Extend Spell. You guys do whatever you want from this point forward. Um, there's two more spells, you could, or two more feats you could take. 
I like taking Extend Spell um, because you, you get the ability to make some of your buffs last longer. Here you get Parry. Uh, an improved reaction. We have better initiative. Holler at your boy. But parry lets us um, block an attack and get a free base attack. At 18th level, we're taking Duelist, our third level here, which will make our armor class just keep climbing. We get enhanced mobility. means I can run around people, um, and if I move out of the way, I get plus four armor class if I accidentally cause them to be threatened by my attack of opportunity. Uh, at 19th level, we're taking our fourth level of Duelist. And this feat here, again, you guys can take what you want. I'm going to take Reach Spell because you know I like Reach Spell. You guys played with me before. Grace gives me some reflex throws here at level 4 of Duelist. And at level 20, we are going to take our final point in Duelist and get this Intelligence point here, which makes our AC go up. Look at that. Holler at your boy. And doing so allows us to either put points in Athleticism or get any of these other things you want. I'll put them over here so we can get some checks going. It's pretty nice. We get repost here, which again lets us make a uh, an attack towards people. Um, a duelist can make an attack of opportunity against any creature whose attack she successfully parries, so long as the creature she is attacking is within reach. Okay, so that's the build at level 20. Now, at low levels, uh, you're not going to be a crazy powerhouse. Uh, let's pull up our character sheet real quick. I'm rocking 18 armor, uh, and I've got 3 attack. I'm using a dagger um, because I have weapon finesse at, at level 1, and I've got a light shield on, and I'm able to put on 4 armor class armor. Um, so adding all that together puts us up to 18. Um, gearing this guy out, I would definitely... Um, your... You know how you can get like one physical attribute item, um, like a belt that is strength, constitution, or dexterity, and then one that's going to be like a necklace or a, a helmet that is going to be your intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. Definitely would get the wisdom um, headband uh, early on, and I would definitely go for dexterity, especially since you have to take weapon finesse early. It's going to add to your attacks and your armor, and when you hit level 5, that monk having extra wisdom is going to add to your uh, armor class as well. At low levels, you're not going to be crazy tanky and crazy powerful. So when you go for your spell selection, I would grab things like Cure Light Wounds. Um, and maybe if you can find, this would be a, a reason not to take the ASMR and get an elf instead. You can actually have a bow and be a distanced uh, person for the first couple levels until you get that wild shape and can actually start um, contributing to your team. As usual with a little bit weaker character, uh, you, you've got Jaythol and anybody else to kind of tank for you which is what I would do for the first couple levels uh, until you start getting up there, getting some items and stuff. You're not crazy flimsy. I mean, we did take away all of our constitution, so we were at 7. Um, I don't know why these guys start walking so slow lately during my combat. Like, yeah. As you can see there, Jaythal did an awesome crit, and I did 6 damage. Um, but you're going to be wanting to use your characters to kind of give you a little bit of padding. You know, you don't have... Tartuccio and Lindsay up there in the front, but then again, later on, Tartuccio and Lindsay get pretty um, crazy powerful. Also, guys, I think I'm going to make a couple um, builds detailing what I would do with Lindsay, with Jaythal, with all of your um, your companions you get, you know, re-rolling them with a mod. I, I'm actually going to make a video on um, mods as well uh, that I, I think need to be implemented in the game. I think definitely we should be able to re-roll our characters, especially if they're supposed to be, you know, some kind of fighter type, and you give, uh, what's-his-face over here, way too much constitution at the beginning, um, and way too much, and not enough dexterity. You know, th there's got to be some stuff going on there with that. All right, so after level two, uh, you're able to, here at Oleg's, of course, get a little bit better armor uh, and whatnot. I was able to find an actual shield, a little bucker, buckler, Throw on some, uh, you know, braces of armor. I still have Tartuccio's ring here. Uh, but putting me up at 19 armor class gets you a little bit more solid. Uh, I got hide armor on. The thing is, is that druids can't use any ranged other than a sling. So for this build, maybe an, uh, a, a, an elf would be better to be able to qualify for that uh, longbow or shortbow. Being at a distance for a long time. Because for the first four levels, uh, three levels, you're going to be kind of fragile until you get uh, your wild shapes. Then it starts becoming pretty fun. You know, make him feel a little bit more powerful. Let him do some work. Getting those attack of opportunities, because this guy still is just using his um, using his bow, short range. The AI is not too too good in the game right now. Do that damage. You go, little wolf man. Look at you doing your stuff. You just, oh, I tripped him. Okay, so look. The wolf gets that awesome trip bite right there, and that's what you were really looking for. 
Um, I did an attack, and the bite actually trips him, knocks him down. Um, so that's what you really want to start working with. So that's at level four-ish, five-ish. Now, again, at level five, you can also cast bull strength on yourself. At a, at a fight like this, you don't have the time to buff yourself up so much like you would want to. We can also cast Cat's Grace, Bark Skin, uh, and Bull Strength for some extra attack. Um, I could have used, um, so yeah, it puts you at nine, puts your armor class at 25. I could have used Owl's Wisdom inside of that Spellbook uh, pack right there, um, but we were getting, we needed a little bit of extra, two extra attack right there, kind of helps you out, uh, makes, you, makes you feel really, really fun being the wolf. Cool thing about this is that you can turn on Light Halo and be a wolfie with a collar, right? Why wouldn't you want to do that? That's awesome. So here we go at level 20, uh, being 14 Druid, 1 Monk, 5 Duelist. We have a base armor class of 23. The armor class is kind of dorked up. I don't think it's working right. It should say 24. Uh, every now and then you look up, you open up the menu. I've got no armor on whatsoever. I don't even have Tartuccio's fancy little present here. Uh, but for some reason, it's not showing me my full. I should have uh, five from uh, Wisdom, five from Intellect, and then three from Dexterity, which would put me at that 23. But I also have um, Dodge, and so Dodge is not uh, registering for some reason. See, that says five from Candy Defense, four from Other. It should be five Other AC bonus from Monk. Something's dorked up with the Monks. Uh, my alignment is the way it should be. I'm lawful neutral, so just in the game, something is definitely messed up with Monk on the armor class build. Unless you guys can point this out, I'm using Parry. Parry doesn't take anything from my armor class away. I've got Wings on, which should be giving me an extra three, which isn't showing in there. Um, I should be getting some extra armor class here from uh, fighting defensively and with mobility. That's not really showing up in there. I've got combat expertise. It's negative one on attack rolls, but a plus one on my armor class, and I'm not really seeing that showing up either. Uh, those things there, crane style, should be t uh, b uh, stacking with combat expertise, defensive, and all those things. But uh, unarmored and everything, I with no buff spells on whatsoever, I can do 19 attack, uh, 23 armor class. Uh, so we'll show you that real quick. Unarmored, no transformation whatsoever. So some things to realize here is I'm punching these guys. Um, I wanted to pull this up real quick, the, the attacks we did. Uh, says that I'm attacking, I'm rolling some great rolls. Um, they are attacking me. It says that my armor class is 23 right there. That's something for you guys to look at. It shows all the stuff in there. I can pull it down and it says uh, that they attacked me and I had a base value of 10 plus that 4. It should say plus 5 because of Monk. I have 5 Wisdom, not 4 Wisdom modifier, dexterity bonus of plus three, dodge, crane style, base effect, fighting defensively, candy defense, and combat expertise. Combat expertise and candy defense definitely help you out here. Again, I got this base armor class here. If you do that math up, something's not adding up with this going on. And now I want to show you guys a couple of the buffs you can throw on yourself, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to throw on Long Strider. It's an hour per level. I get to move a whole heck of a lot faster, and that's going to even uh, go into whenever I shift. Uh, I can use Magic Fang in a little bit. Uh, just bear with me. We're going to throw on Feather Step Mass because I can. Uh, we're also going to use Freedom of Movement. So you are not uh, hampered by any kind of difficult terrain whatsoever. Uh, doing this, we can actually throw on, right now I've got 19 attack because my strength is only plus 2. I can throw on Bull Strength, which is going to add to uh, some fanciness there. Makes my attack go up some. I am using Weapon Finesse, so that's going to help. We're also going to put on Bark Skin, which is going to give us plus 5 to our natural armor class, which now already has us a 28, wearing, again, no armor, no special jewelry, or anything like that. I'll throw on Owl's Wisdom, so I was at 28. Uh, Owl's Wisdom should also buff me up some as well because of the Monk right there, so that puts me at 31 because my armor class went up some. As you can see right there, we look at this, it's showing a 7 bonus. Uh, finally, that has made it re-register what it should be. Um, and then we can also throw on some Cat's Grace. So we're running around fast, we're already buffed up. I'm at 33 armor class at this point, but one of the best shapes you can pull into is the Huge Air Elemental. Uh, it gives you plus 4 to your strength, plus 6 size bonus to your, your dexterity, and a, norm, a natural armor bonus of plus 4. You're also going to get some base speed faster, and you get some slam attacks 
uh, you're immune to critical hits. Uh, Smilodon is funny. We'll, cha we'll change in the Smilodon real quick to show you. Uh, so he's at 35. He went up a couple of uh, bits, but walking, watching him run <laughs> when you've got uh, the long strider greater, it just looks so funny. It looks so glitchy. Uh, his little feet kick so fast. I think it's hilarious, and I thought I'd share that with you guys real quick. But let's pop over into the huge air elemental. I believe it's going to be your best thing you can turn into here. Puts us up at 38 armor class before we go into them and actually fight them. So I'm going to actually turn off my artificial intelligence so I don't punch them. And I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever they are attacking me. Uh, also, you're super fast with this guy. Check this out. I'm going to... If I can get over here. I don't want to attack you. No, I forgot that um, attacks of opportunities... Uh, I, I want to show you guys. I just want him attacking me. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of lag here real quick. Um, I did some damage there accidentally. It says he's attacking me. Uh, this will stop rolling around. Let's pause this real quick. It says he's attacking me, and it says I have 47 armor class um, because of all this stuff going on. Let's right-click this and pull it out so you guys can see. Um, 47, and that's in that's the guy shooting me with a bow. So 47 from a distance, right? Um, and I did turn on, again, 47, he's using the bow. That's the reason that's that. I have all of these fancy things on, give me some defense, uh, repost, all that stuff. Um, but it, with this guy, this assassin here is what we're looking for, is not the assassin bowman. Um, but this guy right here, the, the regular assassin is attacking me, okay? And because of combat expertise, candy defense, crane wing, all these fancy things, I have an armor class of 62. 62 armor class. Um, just dexterity bonus plus 8. All this stuff going on in here. Dex, uh, an armor class of 62. Two is what you'll be getting when you're playing with this awesome guy right here. And then, of course, my attacks, if I put him back on to actually attack people, it, it gets kind of disgusting. He actually has some pretty cool reach, but the problem with being so big is that he takes up a lot of room for you to be able to. You actually can't click in this area without highlighting him. So if you're trying to loot, you're actually clicking him. But, guys, this here, this is hilariously fun. 62 armor class with this guy. Yeah, this is my Druid Monk Duelist build. I love it. It's an awesome build. 62 armor class. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to go crank out a couple more. Captain Planet, he